G'day, I'm Kyle. I've decided to do a series on architectural drawing, and the first part we'll be looking at floor plans. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be introducing a few new videos which will be helping you to understand floor plans in architectural drawing. From the real beginner stuff that Quite seriously, I struggled with when I first started. It's really not easy stuff to grasp. To some of the more advanced tips and tricks to help you create more neat and legible and sexy floor plans that your teachers are going to love. If you're not already subscribed, I recommend doing that and clicking that bell so you get notified when I release these new videos of the series. But first of all, what is a floor plan? And I first want to start off by saying there are different types of floor plans, and this is important to understand. There are diagrammatic plans that are generally not to scale. There are sketch plans which are to scale. There are visualization and rendered plans that show how a space is going to be used and the quality of that space. Then there are documentation plans, construction plans, which show how a building is going to be built. And that's really important to know that there are different types of architectural floor plans. And we'll touch on these in later videos, but for now, let's keep it real simple. A floor plan is a two-dimensional drawing of a three-dimensional space. Whether that be a building, a landscape, or a single room, it's cut horizontally, generally at 1200 millimeters or 47 inches above the ground floor. And you might be wondering what the hell this actually means, so let's debunk this. Let's first define what we mean by two-dimensional, because what this means is that in a traditional floor plan anyways, there is no three-dimensional quality to it. There is no depth to the drawing. It does not show perspective. For example, if you look around the room or the space around you, your eyes are looking in perspective. Your eyes warp the space around you so that you can see the depth of the things around you. There are vanishing points and there are horizon lines and well, if you were to draw what you see with your eyes, you would be drawing in a perspective drawing, but that's for another video. So what I'm getting at here is that we can't actually see with our own eyes the same style that you draw a floor plan view in. And that's why it's so difficult and hard to understand and grasp this idea of architectural floor plan drawing. In a floor plan, it's as if you're looking directly from above without perspective. In fact, the best way to understand this is by thinking about a building. Imagine putting a horizontal slice at 1200 millimeters above the ground floor or 47 inches. That is generally where most floor plans are cut from, though this can vary depending on what you want to show with your floor plan. So you've taken the top off of this building. If we look directly down at it with the camera lens, it's very similar to our eyes. You can see that it's not directly looking at it in a floor plan view. There's perspective to it. You can see that there's depth behind and you can see that if I were to move it over here, this part seems further away than this part. Instead, we have to imagine looking down at it in a parallel projection. A parallel projection is a projection of a 3D object onto a fixed plane. The rays or lines of sight or projection lines are parallel to each other. Rather than your vision going out like this, like in a cone shape, what you're doing is you're looking at it directly straight on. And no matter where you move that, it's gonna stay directly straight on. Whereas in a perspective view, some things would become further away and they would appear smaller. And the things that are closer now would become bigger and appear bigger because they're closer to the view. So we now understand that floor plans are parallel projections. They are 2D drawings with no depth to it and they are flat. We now know that we draw floor plans by slicing through the building at a horizontal cut of 1200 millimeters or 47 inches. And that's measured off the ground floor below it. So it would go up 1200 millimeters and that's where you'd slice through the building. Everything above that is taken off and everything below that is what you're now looking down at. So there you have it. Now you know what a floor plan is. Hopefully that's helped you wrap your head around what a floor plan actually is. In the next video, I'm going to be explaining where scale comes into this. And that video will be understanding scale in architectural drawings. So that should be really helpful for you. Make sure you click that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on when I post these new videos. Please do leave a like on the video. It really does help me out and share this video on YouTube with other students that need to see this. I wanna say thank you to you for watching it all the way through. I always do appreciate that. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.